Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today, well, well, well. I'm on the last day of my holiday, I'm flying back tomorrow, and uh, looks like I'm about to get home, ready to get myself into the eye of the storm. Yeah, because it is kicking off now on a level that, I'll be honest, I, I didn't think it would happen like this. I, I knew things were unstable behind the scenes at Chelsea Football Club, right? But I didn't think it was unstable between the owners, right? I thought they just collectively was struggling, didn't know what they were doing, don't know how to get the team to go and get results, don't know what to... I, I just thought that, you know, things were a little bit of a farce in terms of how things were being managed. Turns out, Chelsea are in civil war. So I'm going to put this right out, out right now, yeah? Because um, we have to be realistic and we have to be straight, and I'm about to mention something on that for the people that I feel need to hear it. Um... Don't expect a thing from Chelsea this season. The Whatever happens this season now, like this, whatever, as long as this keeps going, whatever happens, happens. If, if the team are winning, great. If they're not winning, I don't blame them. Honestly, now, now the, the, whole, the whole shift, as, the whole dynamic has changed, right? This is no longer about the 11 players on the pitch and the manager in charge. This goes way beyond that. And I'm certain... And I, this is why I have been the way that I am. People are telling me, Eunice, you've got to be more optimistic. Eunice, you've got to, do, you, you've got, you've got to be more positive. You've got to, you can just tell it's not being managed right. Now we know why. Now we know why. Chelsea are in civil war. The owners are fighting each other now. Brilliant. Fantastic. Great. If it's happening at that level, it's going to filter down throughout the rest of the club. This is why now, look, whenever Chelsea are playing, the players are playing, I don't say they get a free pass. No. But I am absolutely understanding enough to know that they are going to be affected. They have been affected. Because this has been going on for a while. People wanted to put their, their heads in the sand. And that's what I'm about to say now. People need to be realistic, right? Before we jump into the devil in the detail here, I want to mention this because I feel like it's important. Don't be positive for the sake of just being positive. That's not reality. If things are looking good and things are working well and things are running smoothly, well, yes, okay, cool, we got something to work with. It was so obvious, something was wrong, something was off, and people wanted to ignore it. People wanted just, nah, nah everything's fine, you keep telling yourself that. Now people have been vindicated. It's been kicking off for ages. At the top, not even at board level, at owner level. We have Clear Lake versus Todd Bowley. Amongst themselves, they can't even figure out what to do. It was clear something was off. Now we have our answer. And let this be known, this is a little life lesson. Truth always rises to the surface. Eventually, 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 it will always rise to the top. So don't hide it. And stick to the principles. And don't be fake. Be as real as you can be. And I feel like that's what I want to bring here. And that's what I do bring here. I'm not going to BS everyone and pretend that everything's okay. This club hasn't been okay since these guys walked through the door. Let's be real. Well, now we know what's going on. So let's get into what's going on. It, it come out last night that there was... Um, there were claims that things were looking really, really brittle between the ownership. And then today, it's all flooding out. All flooding out. I'm going to try and um, take you through day's events. Matt Law came out with an article this morning saying that Chelsea are on the brink of civil war and Todd Bowley believes his relationship with Clear Lake is at breaking point, basically. Right? Um, 
Sky Sports come out and said Todd Bowley has reservations about the recruitment strategy at the club and the failure to make progress on redeveloping Stamford Bridge. All right, that's another one. Ben Jacobs then come out not too long ago. Chelsea's owners open to buying each other out. All right, Clear Lake wish to increase their 61.5% stake. Bowley is willing to pay over £2.5 billion and wants more control. Strategic disagreements, including over stadium, matching and blocking right for both parties. Matt, this is where it gets interesting. And this is where, you know, the, the PR, right? The Chelsea PR. This is where it gets thrown to the side because now we get big boys coming through the door. Now we're getting, we're getting news that isn't even related to football. Right? That are letting us know what's going on now. Here's the Financial Times. That's a source I've never told you about, isn't it? If you're into economics or business, you'll read the Financial Times and you'll know what they're about. But the Financial Times are saying, FT are saying, Todd Bowley is pushing to buy out Clear Lake Capital. Not the company. Clear Lake have no intention to sell. Bowley has grown frustrated with the inability to progress on stadium expansion and building the Chelsea brand. Clear Lake doesn't have the desire to um, be bought out by Todd Bowley. Fabrizio Romano has commented for the first time on it, saying that Chelsea technical staff are still working on finding the best young talents in world football despite reports of a potential civil war between owners. In case the strategy, the strategy changes, I will let you know. We've had Lucas Bajek, who's a football business analyst, of course, saying Todd Bowley wants Chelsea resolution as Clear Lake relationship breaks down. Billionaire believes club structure is untenable. Talks over buying each other out have not taken place. The Guardian. Bowley used his own money to fund his part in the takeover and would only be prepared to sell if he receives a compelling offer. Bowley's preference remains to lead Chelsea forward. He sees this as a project spanning 20 to 30 years. I'll talk about that in a bit. And Todd Bowley is prepared to raise over £2.5 billion in order to get full control of the club. That would mean a club valuation of close to £4 billion, close to double the £2.3 billion Clear Lake and Bowley paid for it. So that's all come out today and in the last half hour, last couple of hours, etc. Clearly, this has been going on for a while. And we have one little piece of info here saying relationships first strained with Clear Lake view in the failure on the window of Tuchel and the signings of Sterling, etc. Bowley was the figurehead leading this recruitment and Clear Lake put all accountability on him. He was outed and called out in meetings. This is when relationships started to sour, right? And we have to be honest, once it was the case where Todd Bowley was no longer the sporting director, if you remember, and Clear Lake took over, what, did, what have we done since then? We just went and bought a bunch of kids. And selling players for, for nothing more than profit. Not looking at who we could actually keep. Not looking at who we, the team actually needs. Making sure we put Cobham graduates first in line just because they're going to raise most money. These sort of things. It's just an absolute clown show. Overall. It's been clear that this has been the case. Now, where do we go from here? This is the problem now. Where do we go from here? Because why I started the video the way I started, it's clear and it's obvious. The longer this goes on, Chelsea will suffer. This is why I'm saying now the season is basically a write-off. Because this isn't getting sorted tomorrow. This isn't getting sorted even by December. This will go into next, this will go into 2025. We're talking about a potential transaction worth billions. That's not going to be done tomorrow or next week. Simple as that. If one is going to buy the other out, this will be a process. <laughs> this will be a process. This is, this is going to be a process that people are going to have to trust. Yeah? You want to talk about trust the process? Well, bloody hell, now we're going to have to trust this process. We're going to have to wait and see who's going to buy who now. Because this ain't going to fly. This cannot go on. And yeah, there is a civil war right now. It will be a civil war. It already is. Like we said, this has already been kicking off. Arnie Slot was what Todd Bowley wanted, if you remember. Do you remember when we heard about Arnie Slot being in Todd Bowley's helicopter? Yeah? What happened? We got Pochettino. 
it was clear from the moment that it seemed like Clear Lake took one step forward and Iqbali and Feliciano were at the figurehead, were the figureheads and at the front of things. All of a sudden, Todd Bowley, we just, we never really heard about what Todd Bowley's doing from that point onwards. Why? It's just, you've got to have some common sense. Just ask yourself, what's going on? It's clear they've not been on the same page. It's clear. So I'm not surprised to be hearing all of this. I'm not shocked. Because if things are rosy and things are beautiful and things are positive at that level, it would, it would filter down to the team. The team will be playing positively. The, 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 the manager would be happy. Things would be flowing. Things would be progressing. We've not seen that. We've not seen that at all. There's been a couple of players that we've been able to see. Oh, you know, like Cole Palmer's Cole Palmer. Wow. By the way, K's getting better. Absolutely. But you can't say the entire team is, is you know, brilliant or growing or progressing or you can't do that. That would be a lie. So this is where, as long as this is still an issue, don't expect anything from the team. Don't expect anything from the team. That's just being realistic. And that goes back now to my point about having to be real. Call it as it is, yeah? This goes to everyone. Just say it as it is. And don't have this false hope, right? And it works vice versa. If things are going really well, then say things are going really well. And then you don't need to be overly critical. No, but if things are bad, they're bad. And Chelsea have been bad for two and a half years, or coming three years now, haven't we? Simple as that. Now we know why. Now we know why. So, Civil War is kicking off at Chelsea Football Club. Brilliant. Another problem. Another season written off. Great. Frankly, I've had enough, right? Um, and if... If I could, I'd wipe them all out. If I could, all of you buy, yeah? Get out, everyone get out and take the directors with you and let's start afresh with someone that really wants to make this football club grow. But now this is where we have to come to how to analyze the two sides because it's gonna have to be one or the other. We can't, not, both are not going to sell, right? It's gonna be one to the other. So, the way that I see it, Listen, I wouldn't mind if someone is in charge and making a few mistakes if they genuinely want the team to win and will do what it takes to get the team on a sporting level high enough to compete, yeah? I feel like Todd Bowley is more likely to do that than Clear Lake Capital. That's just obvious, right? And the first window proved it. Mistakes were made, but the first window did prove the intention at least. At least. That's why we started off all fairly like, okay, let's see where this goes. Yeah, we're feeling all right. Yeah, cool. We were all happy. And then the results weren't coming through. But like we've read, since Tuchel got sacked, it was already kicking off between these guys. So imagine one of, well, imagine one of these guys with their recruitment team with everything below, one figurehead, no group, no consortium, one owner, one guy, you need one leader. My problem with all of this from the very beginning was getting a consortium in the first place. And I called it because when a consortium comes in, there's way too many cooks in the kitchen. Everyone's gonna have to agree. This is what happens. This is why I didn't want a consortium in the first place. I didn't want one. I was calling for the Saudis to come in because they would have just, they would have, they would have led it. I was calling for Jim Ratcliffe when he entered um, late. Why? Because there's one guy. I'd rather one guy than a consortium. And here's the proof in the pudding. We've got to that point now. They're kicking off between themselves. They don't even know what they want. This is what happens. So, if this is the case now, then I would rather, personally, Todd Bowley take it. Because Clear Lake Capital, it's clear. Look, let's be honest. Clear Lake Capital are a private investment equity business, yeah? They do nothing but manage finances. They are money. That's it. They, they buy things to make more money. That's their company's purpose. Clear Lake Capital are an investment firm. Listen to the words. 
an investment firm. They buy to sell for more. That's it. You think they're bothered about Chelsea on the pitch and what we're going to actually achieve. They're more bothered about what the finances on the sheets are telling them. And that's been made clear. If anyone wants to say any different, then you keep living in doo-doo land. Yeah? You keep doing that. Fantasize as much as you want. No problem. But at least, and I'm, I'm clutching straws here, right? But at least Todd Bowley comes from some sort of a sporting background, right? Has at least been in that environment. And I gotta be fair here. He's the only one out of all of them that have spoken that have actually come out publicly and spoken about winning on some sort of a capacity. He's called it twice in two, if I'm not mistaken, with Bloomberg and at some press, at some conference that he did, some business conference. He was talking about Chelsea and he mentioned how he wants to win. Words are cheap because actions speak louder. But at least, bruv, I've not heard from Igbali at all. And Feliciano, he told us what they wanted to do from the very beginning, but people don't want to actually go and watch the whole 25-minute interview that he did and listen to what everything he said. He mentioned everything there. He said it with his own mouth. His own lips were saying that it's not really about what happens on, on the pitch. It's, it, it, it counts to a certain degree, but it's not as important in terms of building everything as a business. Nah, I'm sorry. You've got to manage both. Both are as equally as important as each other. You can't abandon one. And I feel like that's what Clay Lake, Clay Lake are happy to do. When it comes to this, I am counting on the connections that Todd Bowley has here. Get the Saudis in. Yeah? <laughs> Get them Saudis in and, and start managing a football club like a football club needs to be managed. Why I say that? Or not just the Saudis, any Middle Eastern. Because they're not bothered about making money. They already have the money. They actually want, I don't want to say power, right? But they want dominance. Their prime aim is to be number one. I want to be number one. That's their main focus. Go to the Middle East and find out for yourselves. You go to the Emirates or you go to Qatar, you go to Saudi. Everyone, we must be number one. We must be number one. Like, that's it. They've got the money already. Money's not a thing for them. That's what this football club needs. That's how Man City end up the way that they're ending up. Because money's not an issue. And then of course, you balance things out and you do what you do. But you know how to be able to manage things in order to get the best value that you can get with the top quality that you can get in order to at least help the team to get to a level that it needs to be at. And that's where Chelsea need to be. So, right now, let's see where it goes. As it stands, like I said, if it was up to me, I'd change all of them. But if we have to pick the lesser devil, I would go with Todd Bowling. Because clearly capital. Just rotten, rotten venture capitalists. V rotten, rotten. So let me know your thoughts down below. Much appreciated. And um, like I said before, look, um, it's funny because it's the international break. We've got, obviously, match previews to get through, reviews and all of that. But when it gets to that, listen, um, I'll warn you now. It'll be, it'll be brought down a notch because this is going to be a massive cloud hovering over the club. The team will be affected. I mean, bloody hell, Maresca right now must be thinking, what have I walked into? You know? So, listen, I don't blame any of them. At this point, whatever happens, happens. Um, but... This will affect the entire football club. And I believe it has already been affecting the entire football club. Whilst many people wanted to put their heads in the sand and pretend everything was okay. When clearly something was wrong. Something was wrong. And I've said before that on some level, behind the scenes, things are a sh show. I've, I've said that and a lot of you will remember that. Now we know why. So, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? Um, how do you see this being resolved? Um, because right now it's a stalemate. Bowley's not budging. Clear Lake not budging. The longer no one budges, the club will suffer. The team will suffer. So let's see. Let me know your thoughts down below. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell on. I'll keep up to date with what's going on. Um, tomorrow night, there might be a video very late, might. If, if things, if we've got big news that's come through, 
then I'll try and get one done. If not, Monday onwards, we'll be back to the normal routine. So make sure you guys are here for that. Much appreciated. And I will see all of you then. Thank you very much for watching, people. Have a good one. Look after yourself. See you soon. Take care and peace.